So hi everyone, um, my name is Christy Harvey and I wanted to share this story of a journey that I am about to embark on and I have been on it for quite some time. Now I'll try and keep these videos short and sweet. Um, I'm from Glasgow, I have cystic fibrosis, I got a double lung transplant eight years ago, um, a wonderful donor and their family saved my life. Uh, I am now, I spent a long time in hospital last year and it turns out that my liver was in a state of cirrhosis. So I went for um, assessment for a liver transplant. Now I'm quite a complex case, a lot happened last year, but there'll be videos about all that. Um, we weren't sure whether we would say yes. But thankfully, they said yes, and I was put on the liver, active liver transplant list in December. Now, we are March, April, we are April 2018. And unfortunately, two weeks ago, I ended up with a dose of sepsis. Um, it caused my kidneys to really struggle. It's taken me off the transplant list. It has um, meant that for me to be relisted, they have asked for me to go back down to Newcastle and be reassessed. And I'm in a very different place to what I was when I was assessed back in mid-November 2017. Um, it's very hard to have weight on when you have liver disease or when your liver is giving up. Um, energy... Basically, my body is just tired. But I wanted to share this journey with everyone. And I can't be bothered writing a blog. So this, I guess, will be day one of our story. I've been in the hospital for two weeks so far. Um, all the doctors are doing everything that they can to try and... Well, they got rid of the sepsis, which resulted from a dose of cellulitis. Um, I've got a lot of back pain, leg pain, on a lot of painkillers, but ones that are friendly to my kidneys. Um, and fentanyl and a drug called Abs... Amstel, yes. And a couple of other ones. Um, so, yay. Let's see where this journey goes. Um, we're hoping that it goes the right way. But maybe it won't. But I'm sure you'll be with me. Okay, thank you. And um, I kind of hope this helped one person. Um, I've been through the wards a little bit. Nothing terrible. But I hope that I'm able to help people that are maybe going on this journey too. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.